Eh, looks like it's it, unless there's something there. No. All right, so let's go back to the uh, the filmmaker, Solik. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. All right, more experience and credits. Anything more to say? Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Can't do anything with the camera thing either. All right, let's move on. Thank Next stop, Purgatory. Destination. One moment. We'll see what else I can find around here. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. Three. You do not understand. The code of the ancients is the collected wisdom of our people. With overwhelming sadness, it was lost when the Kuna fell. Without it, we lack the guidance we need. With certainty. All right, new quest for me. They keep on moving things. Dakuna, Code of the Ancients. An Elkar on the Citadel needs the Code of the Ancients to inspire his people. Recover the Holy Book from Dakuna and return it to him at Purgatory. You guys probably should have had several copies of that. It'd be like if there was only one Bible type thing. Like, mmm, that's not a good idea. Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. That was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, summoning supplies should have messed that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. I'd only be safer inside a tank. It's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. You should probably sell it, then. Just... Just a thought. Uh, nothing out here. Let's head inside. I need some cheering up. Benning guys are gone. Arya most likely isn't here either. Arya is here. Why is Arya here? The uh, the party girl isn't here anymore. No, the problem is that our people are terrible at making war. The library at Asha had sacred texts on the ways of the hunters, the defining works on the art of battle. But the Nimbus quest is already gone, and our people are here dancing instead of fighting. Another new quest for me. Good God, there's a lot of these. Let's just complain I, I had so few. Now I have like easily twice as much. Nimbus Cluster, Library of Asha. An Asari military trainer needs texts from the Library of Asha. Recover the texts from the Nimbus, Nimbus Cluster and deliver them to her at Purgatory on the Citadel. All right, uh, Arya, why are you still here? Other than to so that I can do the quest that I already did. It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. Why are you here? Since we took back Omega, I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. Is it? So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. I think that's a joke. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? Uh, my new task force? Omega, let's talk about Omega. How's the rebuilding going on Omega? People understand the first order of business is showing up defenses. No one wants another invasion. So they're enduring valiantly, not that they have a choice. Once again, I am Omega. All right, let's talk about my new task force. I'm not sure if we've talked about that. What exactly have I acquired? Yeah, we have. An army that's willing to fight dirty Right, Eclipse. let's go through well this. Worth the little song. Whatever you say, Arya. Don't be a stranger. At this point, I don't think I can be. Eh, let's head out first. <gasps> no! First we talk to Jack! Ugh. This sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. You look good. Well, she kind of always looks good. You look clothed. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on. Plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. 
Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. You're welcome that I came My back for you. handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Because I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. All right, we're dancing? Are we dancing or drinking? Can we dance and drink? Drink, then dance. On the wall. <laughs> wow. Shepherd, everybody knows you can't dance. Why is it so dark? I, I thought you said I couldn't dance. The f and we're done. Like, they stopped. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're just standing there awkwardly as the thing fades to black. All right, we're, we're done, I guess. I got Reputation and Paragon for it. Uh, Jack is no longer there. Edie is here, though. I'm curious. What material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. Yeah, infiltration. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. I get the joke. Yeah, infiltration is probably not going to happen. If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Wait, seriously? If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. All right, I'll leave you alone. Fine. Jeez. Um. Okay. I, I guess we're pretty much done up here. Jack is gone. Didn't see Jack in there. I just missed her. Nothing from you guys. Nothing back here. Nothing over here either. Oh, it's an officer. The banner of the first regiment. That should put some steel in their spine. He's still talking about the same thing. Joker's over here, just keeping an eye on Edie, I assume. Look at this. All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Wow, really? Are, what about you and me? I'm asking it. You know, with all this interest in Edie, it's possible you've overlooked other options. Uh, I, I never really considered it, Commander. No offense. Uh, that's not a no or none taken. All right, we're stopping. Forget it. So, you and Edie. Well, yeah. What do you think? Go for it, dude. Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's eh, always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. You deserve to be stupid. I like how they phrased that. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. He's making his move. Uh, two more reputation for me. Nothing else going on around here. Let, let me out, thank you. Um, I guess we'll go back and... What the hell's going on here? Uh, Alright. 
Joker. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Edie, Edie will not talk to me at all. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. You're still stuck. Um, I guess we're done here. At the uh, the. Was it purgatory? Purgatory. So I guess we're done here. So let's head out and head to, I think it's the Presidium Commons next before the hospital, or is the hospital next? No, the hospital's up first. See what we can find in here. Seeing it here too. Well, shit. We're low on metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. If we could get the rings of a loom from the Salian Nebula, we could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. No, they're not just symbolic. The Asari revere a loom. She wore these rings after learning medicine from a Thame herself. She was like a Dalatress for your people. If we displayed her rings, we'd get more Asari support in the hospitals. All right, let's take a look at what that quest is. Uh, Soleil and Nebula, the Rings of Alun. Uh, Nasari consultant on the Citadel needs the Rings of Alun. Find them in the Soleil and Nebula and return them to her at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. That they are. I think. I hope. Uh, lots of bad stuff going on out here. Uh, can I get the... All right, my agile capacity increased by one. I mean, it's good. Uh, I can get another one. All right. Up to level four now. The prisoners were indoctrinated. I think. And once the alarm was sounded, Naira's eyes were black the whole time, not just for a second. I could feel her mind from where I was standing. Naira? The humans were in the way, attacking us. I used my biotics, flung them around. I... I've been horrified when Naira tore the farmers apart, but God, it's... I ripped them in half. And it felt good. There's nothing shameful about feeling an adrenaline rush during battle. I might have killed more than Naira and those husks did. She wanted them alive, to turn them, and I... And you survived. Naira. I think that's how they said it. Um, don't know what that means. Don't know who that is. Uh, can't talk to Dr. Michelle anymore. All right, let's head inside. It's looking worse out here. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? Let's take a look at what we got there. Citadel chemical treatment. A doctor is looking for a way to treat a patient with chemical burns. Find a treatment plan and deliver it to the Huerta Memorial Hospital. Okay. Lots more things that I need to go out and find. Anything over here? Now the hospital's a little busy these days. I can't imagine why. What, we can't put anybody in Ashley's room anymore? I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts... Of course, I understand. Even a general is just one man. Good luck. Another quest for us. Cerberus Turian poison. A doctor on the Citadel is looking for a Cerberus poison tailored to Turians. Find a sample of the toxin and deliver it to the Huerta Memorial Hospital. Anything here? It's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. 
If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. Ooh. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. Solarian. It's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everything. What? Can I help you? I'm looking for a Drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a Drell, but not under that name. He was injured, stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. You're a new doctor. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keprel's syndrome. At its worst, Keprel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions. But frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. Can I do something? I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match. And that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. <sighs> Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me, I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father is a hero or did you know this was coming? Your father is a hero. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander. I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Wear down stone and sand. <coughs> Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koliad, <coughs> you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Yeah. Kalihira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalihira. And she will be a companion to you as she was to me. Koyat. What did the last verse say she? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. And, uh... 
Down goes Thane. All right, so hospitals, depressing places. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. It does tend to happen quite a bit. Hopefully my decision to save everybody now will work out. Uh, I'm kind of hoping for some kind of resupply that shows up somewhere along the line. But for now, let us leave this depressing place. Everybody from the second game is randomly showing up and dying. Thane showed up and died. Jack showed up and danced and then disappeared. Kelly's gone. We only have so many people with us left. No, oh, this was the war zone. We're not going to do the rapid transit just yet. 